channel welcome back um, I think it's time to get this uh, the beast assembled really isn't it everything put together see if this truss rod's going to be a problem <laughs> which it might be um, yeah let's crack on screw it together and then give it a try out shall we give it this fire on I'm just getting an idea of roughly how high up I want the pickup to be able to sit. Now considering this next one back a tiny bit, it's going to be, I don't know, just under 2 mil or so at the 12, so I need to add on top. So that's just, there's 30, so probably about 2-ish, about 33. Right, uh, 233. And we'll take the consideration poles. 20. So 10. So I'll use the 12 mil. I'm going to use this the thicker foam. Uh, stick it on the back of the pickup.
these wires I'm just I just roll them gently I'm applying gentle pressure and just rolling them over the blade there to cut through the sheath it's, I find it very effective if you don't have the uh, proper tool Well, I'm feeling confident I'm going to stick this cover on. I don't know if you can see that. It's all bent. <laughs> it's bent in shape. Yeah, but that's a... Oh, this might need a sanding, actually. It's many sanded first. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to screw it down. I'll worry about it later. I'm feeling confident that everything's going to be hunky-dory and that I can just screw this down and not care too much. See, I'm feeling excessively confident. Hey, that looks all right. <laughs> Sweet. Well, I have to say, this is looking pretty smart. I have no idea if I'm stringing this up properly or if you're meant to do something strange with bass string ends. I don't know, I'm not used to bases, but no, this is looking pretty cool. Um, it's hard to see with the bright light, but there is some sort of pattern there isn't. And of course, the, the warped covers going on absolutely fine. <laughs> it's all looking fantastic, I think. Feels good. Um, and you can see the, 
the string alignment and stuff. That looks superb. Everything's looking really good. Um, things are looking up. I'm feeling quite uh, optimistic, positive. <laughs> anyway, let's get in the house, plug it in, get it tuned up, see if it explodes. <laughs> so here we are then. I'm just going through the PC into the. Well, I've got the Audion ID4 Mark II. I've got the Yamaha HS5s, and I'm using Duality EX from Audio Assault to base something. I don't know. I don't know half of what's on it. So like, uh, you've got gain, low comp, high comp, bass, mid, treble, um, attack, sub, mix, limit, contour, master, and then you've got graphic, realizer, low cut, deep, scoop, bright, so yeah, I haven't a clue. Plus it's got pedals, P drive, FX, pedals, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what day was it? <laughs> I don't know how to play bass, damn it. <laughs> it's all new ball game, isn't it? I must admit though, it's feeling pretty nice. I haven't adjusted anything except tuning. I've got suspicion these tuners are hollow down the middle. I have a suspicion you're supposed to cut the edge down the centre and then tune it up or something. But I don't know. String height at the moment is about... 1.25 uh, below above the 12th there um, and it seems pretty it's the same on all the way across the board really so it's quite low um, but it's working that's all I know Jackson or anything. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't know if I could play that fast on a bass anyway. You know, I've got like uh, not as big hands as required, I don't think. They're not got enough muscles on them. reach it but this is uh, I'm pretty chill. this is pretty good uh, volume works of course tone works feels beautiful. Trust isn't too bad, slight rattle there still, but a little bit of layer. I'm not hearing it when I'm playing the guitar with you. No, nothing's, nothing's coming through. <laughs> but no, I think it's, uh, it's looking fantastic. This is really nice. It turned out beautiful. So I'm dead chuffed for that. See that there? That's not a knot, by the way. That was me with the black acrylic paint on a finger. I accidentally 
did that and I didn't notice till after I sprayed it. But it looks actually okay and I thought, well, it can stay there. <laughs> but that's Confessions of uh, an Amateur Guitar Builder. But now I'm uh, super chuffed. Superb. Um, yeah, so that's the base done. Um, now, next up, I'm not 100% sure yet. I have a bit of a bonkers idea for building a bit of a bonkers guitar, but I don't know yet. Um, I'll tell you about it when the time comes, though. <laughs> You're not, I'm not telling you just now. Um, but yeah, I need to, uh, in the meantime, I need to Google um, information on bass guitars. I don't know how how far from the strings the pickup pole should be. Um, I don't know, should it have much relief at all or do you keep the neck as straight as you can? Same as guitars and, and it just seems like normal guitars. I tend to have barely anything. And I don't know if bass is the same or if it's supposed to have a bit more or I haven't a clue. So I've got uh, a few tweaks to do and stuff. Um, and also the stringing up. I don't know if the string ends should go down the middle of the tuner and then and then wrap around the posts or I just don't know. So I need to uh, educate myself a little bit on some bits and pieces. But yeah, no, I'm really happy though. It feels, it just feels really nice. It looks fantastic and feels fantastic. So yeah, I'm very happy. Um, I think the last only thing to do now is just get some uh, glamour shots, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching as usual. Uh, feel free to like, comment, etc. Um, I hope you're all having a fine time and everything's going well for you. And I'll see you all again real soon. Cheers!